Uh, we're going to switch gears now, and we're going to talk now to John Patrickoff, who is the co-founder and CEO of Athletes Unlimited. Um, so many different wonderful sports, so many different options, and it just so happens that it is softball that is launching Athletes Unlimited. John Patrickoff is not only going to give us the details of what is happening in the league and as we get forward, move forward in this, but he's also going to be joined by the broadcast partners as well. Eventually coming in will be uh, Billy Stone, uh, the lead broadcaster, CBS Sports Network, and also Carol Stiff of ESPN, longtime vice president of women's sports programming. She will join as well. But now, John Patrick, please take it away. Um, so so thanks very much um, to everybody. I want to give a special thanks, of course, to, to Mayor Stevens and everybody here at the Village of Rosemont, and of course to uh, Jess and to Sherry. Uh, and, and of course, most importantly to Kat and the players who are going to be on the field. Um, but I'm really proud to be here today. Uh, I'm here in Village of Rosemont, and uh, I'm going to start off um, by giving everybody a little bit of a presentation about um, Athletes Unlimited. Uh, and I'm really pleased, hopefully, if you all uh, bear with me here, um, I'm going to share my screen and you'll be able to see. Can everyone see my screen? Eric, can you see it? Everything good? I can see you. I cannot see, see your screen. All right, well, we'll try this again. How about this? How are we doing now? That okay? Uh, I cannot see your screen, but I'm not the uh, be all and end all. I'm not sure. I'm not the engineer on this thing. Hey, I think, yes, I can see your screen. Wonderful. Okay, Thank you, John. Terrific. All right, hang in there with me, everybody. So um, I'm going to jump right into it. Um, basically, Athletes Unlimited is, a, is an entirely new um, uh, model of professional sports. Um, we're going to start off by um, really just outlining a couple of the big pieces, and then I'm going to turn it into, a, I'm going to go to a video presentation. So really, these, these are really the key elements of, of what Athletes Unlimited is all about. First of all, this is an athlete-centric league. Athletes are owners, um, and they're decision makers. Everything you just heard about, all of the unique innovations, this was all designed in concert with the athletes themselves. Second, individual players are champions of team sports. This is an innovation. It's a new model. Team performance is still going to matter, but ultimately, we are elevating the players. We know that so many of you who are watching today or followed the sport are fans of these players. You follow them through their career, um, and we're going to elevate them and put them first and foremost. Fan engagement. We're going to talk a lot about some of the things we're doing. Um, we aren't going to have fans here uh, in Rosemont this year on site, but you're going to be able to engage from home, and we're going to walk through a little bit later in, a, in another session um, I'm going to be joined by Kelly Barnhill and by others to talk a little bit about some of the new ways in which we're engaging uh, fans. And then finally, every moment counts. This is our mantra. The reality is there are points on the line every play of the game. Um, so that's the key element. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. It's something you've never seen before. Uh, and ultimately, this is the softball that you do know and love. So before I go back to the rest of the presentation, I'm going to kick it over to a video. Uh, gets you all hopefully a little excited about what's to come. So hopefully uh, you got to see some of your favorites in that in that video, and there's more of that to come, obviously, throughout the season. So I've told you that Athletes Unlimited is first and foremost an athlete-led organization. I've told you a little bit about the scoring system, and you're going to learn more uh, over the course of the coming weeks as we describe. You can go to auprosports.com at any time. There's a whole explanation of our scoring system. And a big hallmark of, of Athletes Unlimited is this compressed season. So uh, some people have asked, what does that mean? What does that look like for pro, for, for pro players? So our vision is that we get it all in in this very compressed time it means there's a tremendous amount of excitement on the line in future years we could envision there being multiple seasons um, where there's a there's a summer season and then maybe a spring season as well but that's the future and we really believe in those there's no postseason everything is about the regular season every moment counts and it all comes down hopefully to that last uh, couple games of the season when people are vying for that top spot storytelling 
you're going to be able to follow these players on and off the field. I hope you'll uh, go to AUProSports.com. I hope you'll follow us on our social channels. But the reality is throughout the season, you're going to be able to follow our players on and off the field. We're going to try to give you as much access as we possibly can. Um, and we're really excited about the robust content plans we have. And then finally, it's about elevating these uh, players as civic leaders. And we're going to talk to you a little bit more today about some of the partnerships we have in place. We have one new exciting announcement today to share about one of the other partners that we've brought on board. But ultimately, you've just seen, you know that players like Jess and and Cat and, and Cherry are, are incredible leaders on and off the field. And our, we see it as our mission as Athletes Unlimited to uplift those players. Before I get back to softball, I do just want to mention that Athletes Unlimited is a network of pro sports leagues. So softball is kicking off this summer in Chicago, but we've also announced the launch of our Pro Volleyball League, which will be the first and only uh, indoor pro volleyball league in the United States. Volleyball is a huge sport around the world. Um, this will launch next spring, uh, next February in Nashville, Tennessee. We've already signed some incredible players to, to the Volleyball League, and we're excited to keep rolling that out and go further with that. Um, and then there are new leagues that we are actively talking about. So ultimately, this network is going to grow. We are excited about bringing more athletes in. And what we've also already seen is how the athletes are working together across sports. So we've had our volleyball players and our softball players together collaborating, uh, working across kind of issues and, and items and working on content together, and we're excited. So let me come back to, to the athlete link lineup. It's an incredible lineup. Um, 20 plus Olympians, uh, players from six national teams. We've got superstars. We've got players across volleyball and softball signed up. Um, and then we've got players, uh, two Rawlings Gold Glove winners. So it's a great group. Ultimately, what's most important is the quality uh, on the field. But we are led and, and decisions are made by the athletes themselves. And in particular, they're led by what we call our player executive committee. So there are five members of our softball player executive committee. You can see them here. These are people that have been working with us day in and day out, making decisions for the league, helping to shape it. Uh, the player group as a whole meets every two weeks and gets involved and gets consulted by the player executive committee. But I really want to uh, reiterate that this is a player driven organization and we work hand in hand across the board. We have an amazing advisory board. We're so thankful to Jess uh, for, for being part of that. The advisory board has had uh, incredible participation from, from incredible players like Abby Wambach and Carmen Wozniacki and Kevin Durant, Angela Ruggiero, four-time Olympian, the journalist Taylor Rooks, Katrina Adams, former president of the USTA, Karch Karai, a volleyball legend, Rich Kleiman, uh, who's one of the first people to come on board and has helped work with Kevin Durant across his entire platform, and Jordan Larson, um, who's playing in Athletes Unlimited and is also on the advisory board and the player executive committee. So, so Jordan's a triple threat for, for Athletes Unlimited. Uh, and then the executive team, uh, I'll just take a minute to introduce us. So besides myself, this is the vision very much of Jonathan Soros. We've known each other for a long time and we've been partnered on Athletes Unlimited for two years. Um, Sherry, who you met earlier and many of you know, and then we have incredible uh, senior leadership team. Uh, Vivian Labaton, who's worked with us on so much from the beginning. Anya Alvarez, who's our director of media and content and a former LPGA golfer. And John Spade, who's our chief technology officer. And there will be a tremendous amount of new technology integrated into what we're doing. And, and John joined us from the Florida Panthers. So let me start by just telling you a little bit more about what we're going to be doing. Athlete experiences. It's going to be so much as what's on the field, but there's so much off the field. Abby uh, Wambach is the founder of, of Wolfpack Endeavor, um, which is a management training and leadership program, typically works with Fortune 500 companies. Um, she and her team are going to be working with our athletes to work on prep professional development skills, uh, personal development. We're really committed to helping develop these athletes as whole people uh, to help them think about their post career. We also have an athlete uh, unlimited innovation lab where we're gonna be bringing some of the cutting edge technologies that help these athletes both with uh, their physical performance, their mental performance. And so we're really proud of the Athletes uh, Unlimited Innovation Lab. Um, it's an incredible platform. We're inc excited to have so many great partners and that will be taking place here as well. I mentioned earlier that we have this civic leadership platform. Um, there are four key elements of it. First is the Athlete Causes Program. Kat uh, said it before, but each athlete has selected a not-for-profit organization. Some have selected the same one. So we've got 37 not-for-profits that, uh, that are represented uh, across 10 cause areas. And we've put together a, a, a pool of uh, money that will be allocated based on where you end up in the final standings. And then those funds will go to each of those causes. Um, voter participation. Um, we obviously know uh, that uh, encouraging people to come out and vote is a huge issue and a huge important uh, 
priority for for us and for the athletes. Um, and we're really proud to join Rally the Vote, which is a 20 team nonpartisan coalition uh, made up of sports teams from across the sports world. And we're really excited to be able to elevate Rally the Vote and get out there and help uh, with our athletes, uh, encourage uh, people to register. The third partnership is with the Girl Scouts of America. So it is so important to all of us involved with Athletes Unlimited that we're helping set great examples, uh, connecting our athletes with uh, younger players. This is a priority for them. Um, I think in, in our conversations together, I think the one consistent theme that comes out is their desire to help shape the future, to help create opportunities for, for young women and young girls. And uh, we're really excited about our partnership with the Girl Scouts uh, and integration across the two. And today I'm really proud to welcome Little League Softball as another strategic partner of um, Athletes Unlimited. Um, and then I know on the call today, we have a number of people from, from Little League Softball. I'm really thankful that they're joining our, uh, and that we have an alliance together. And we are gonna be bringing our players together with Little Leaguers and really showcasing their talents. Ultimately, when we're able to, we'll be back in person and we'll be doing uh, programs together. But for now, it'll be virtual. But we're really proud to welcome Little League Softball as, as another strategic partner and a key element of our civic leadership platform. So the scoring system, um, I think uh, Kat and Sherry and, and Jess mentioned it really well, but you, you get points for how well you perform as an individual, um, whether you're voted on by your fellow players and fans as an MVP, but ultimately the biggest part of your points is does your team win each win, each inning, and then ultimately the game. And so this scoring system is unique. Uh, we think it's relatively simple once you get to learn it, um, but I want to reemphasize that team performance and how your team does each inning in each game will be the biggest part of it. And then we're gonna have a weekly draft. So the top four players in the standings at the end of each week will become captains. Um, the top player uh, will, will represent and, and wear the gold uh, uniform. Um, and then there's an orange, blue and purple team. Uh, this is what the draft day set looks like and it's gonna be an exciting day. It'll take place every Wednesday afternoon uh, after, the, after the week concludes. So a huge topic, of course, is COVID planning. Um, you know, I'm sitting here, um, I've got my mask right right by me. Um, and of course, we've gone to tremendous steps um, and lengths over the past few months to put together a robust COVID plan. Um, we have a, a board of medical advisors that's led by environmental health and engineering, um, our partners at Sports Innovation Lab, Angela and Josh, and then a network of doctors, um, both from Johns Hopkins and Dr. Choi, who's here uh, on site in Rosemont with us, as well as Faluke Akinredo, who's one of the, uh, who's a member of the US Olympic team um, on the volleyball side and was an athlete representative to this organization. So some of the key elements, we're creating a shield for players and staff, uh, movements are limited. We have total use of this facility. We're the only ones here. They'll be testing twice a week. And there's um, been consistent kind of presentations for all on-site persons. We've gone through procedures um, beforehand. Everyone was tested before coming into market and everyone's been tested once they arrived. And then here are kind of some of the elements of our COVID plan. We've actually published um, small elements of our COVID plan on our website at auprosports.com. But there was a whole uh, regiment that started beginning on August 1st. And so people have been taking uh, social distancing uh, precautions. As I said, there was testing before arriving. Now people have been tested once. They'll be tested again tomorrow. Um, there's face covering policies where on the field, there's going to be safety uh, precautions in place. And then, of course, we have a robust protocol for what happens in the event that someone um, sh should should get sick. Um, so we, we know that COVID is a huge priority and, and keeping our safety is, is the most important thing. Now I'm going to be really excited to bring up uh, Billy Stone um, from CBS Sports Network and Carol Stiff uh, from ESPN. Um, we are so proud that we have uh, CBS is our, is our lead partner and ESPN as our, our partner here. Um, they are really um, helping us enable bringing um, these games to a wide national audience. Uh, there are going to be seven games broadcast on the CBS Sports Network. We're going to have seven games on ESPN2 um, and then other games on ESPN3. And I should mention, these games are also going to be available in Canada and Latin America. And so for us, um, this is a huge milestone. We know this is so important for the players, um, but we're coming out of the gate and excited uh, to be broadcasting. And I want to bring up uh, Billy uh, and, and Carol now and maybe have them say a few words. Um, maybe I'll stop sharing my screen if that works. Um, you guys can do that for me. There we are. Great. Um, so Billy and Carol, thank you again so much. You guys have really helped uh, enable Athletes Unlimited to, to be where we are today. Obviously, you guys have both done so much for, for women's sports in the past. And uh, I'm just really 
thankful again on behalf of all of us here at Athletes Unlimited for your involvement. So Billy, maybe you could just say a few words and, and uh, we'll kick it over to Carol. Thanks, John. CBS Sports, we're really excited to be a part of the inaugural season of Athletes Unlimited. You know, thanks for having us involved. And John, I think it's important for all of people to understand that when you came to CBS Sports with your team, this concept, you came to us long before the pandemic. And we knew then it would be a good fit. Just think about it. Six weeks of softball action with 56 of the best players in the world fits extremely well with our overall programming strategy. Already this summer, we've had National Women's Soccer League, WNBA, World Team Tennis, and Athletes Unlimited is in the, it's just a great continuation. Fans can see a weekly game. We're going to do them on Monday nights at 8 p.m. on CBS Sports Network each Monday night starting August 31st. And the final week, we'll have two games. And we're excited to watch the champion crowned at the end of September, all live and all in prime time. We're looking forward to the first pitch and the call from Eric and Danielle. They'll do a terrific job. John, thanks for having us. And Carol, I know you guys are doing a tremendous amount more. Thanks, Billy. Well, Carol, um, Billy and, and, and CBS have, have, are going to be broadcasting all their games across uh, CBS Sports Network. They're going to have, as Billy said, kind of the final game of the season. It'll come down to it. But we're starting with you. So ESPN2, Saturday, August 29th. We've actually moved the start date up uh, as of today um, with some additional linear upgrades. So we're really thankful and excited for that. So 1 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. But Carol, you've, uh, as Billy said, you've been a leader in, in the women's sports area for so long. Um, you really are a pioneer. You've been honored, added to the Hall of Fame uh, on the basketball side, I know, recently. And we're just so thankful for all the support. But I'll kick it over to you now for, for a couple of comments. Great. Well, thank you. I've really enjoyed listening to uh, the the discussion before we came up. But uh, I had to go to the garage today. I had to go get a prop, and I had to put on my <laughs> softball viewing visor um, as I get ready for this season. So, um, as previously mentioned, uh, we we entered into conversations early on, and what grabbed us at ESPN was in the word innovation. Um, and we are thrilled that uh, Athletes Unlimited uh, included us in those discussions. And we really, really are excited about the, uh, the unique approach to, you know, the softball game that we're going to be seeing. But um, I'll have to give you a little history lesson here as, as I think you call me a pioneer, um, which means I must have gray hair, but um, I cover them up. Um, but for years, it makes great sense that Athletes Unlimited came to us because we've been the industry leader uh, in softball. Um, I just wanted everyone to know that we produced over 1,200 Division I softball games in 2019, and probably we're going to do more had we not had COVID-19. Um, but not only do we cover just Division I, we cover Little League World Series, um, I mean, that you just mentioned. Um, we have, we've always had professional softball, um, including USA softball, um, which I was thrilled to see uh, come back to the Olympics. Um, and with this league, everyone, you're going to be able to see those Olympic athletes that were unable to compete this past summer. And now you have an opportunity to see them in prime time on CBS and across our, our family of networks. Um, this this coming summer. So anyhow, uh, we're thrilled to be on board. Um, yes, we will be covering 23 games of the 30. CBS has seven. We're thrilled to be partnering with them. Um, and I'm so excited that the very first game of this season will be on ESPN2 um, on A29. So uh, we wish you well, Rosemont. Do it, do it like you've been doing it. And um, I can't wait for the first pitch to come out and I can... Uh, I can watch. Thanks, John. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. One final time. Uh, my name is Eric Collins, and I will be one of the broadcasters for uh, Athletes Unlimited Softball this summer. First game will be August 29th, which is a Saturday, uh, 1 o'clock Eastern time. You can find it on ESPN2. It will be five consecutive intense weeks of softball featuring the 56 best players in the world playing in their prime. So it's going to be uh, – Programming you're not going to want to miss. It's going to be a lot of fun. My partner will be Danielle Laurie, uh, former All-American from Washington. So we're going to have a lot of fun with a lot of uh, news to pass along throughout the course of the summer. So we have that to look forward to. Uh, now we look forward to final thoughts uh, from Jonathan Patrickoff, whose baby this has been. Um, Jonathan, I will say this has been a rousing success from looking at the comment 
uh, that have been generated. People have been uh, super jazzed about what we're offering here. Uh, I will say on a personal level that I've been involved with a lot of different sports and leagues and startups, and this one by far and away seems to be on the most secure footing. It seems as if you guys have really struck upon something that people are interested in. Um, if you could just open it up right now and give us final thoughts as we walk out the door. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Eric. I mean, I, and listen, yeah, and this listen, is so exciting. So exciting. Obviously, Obviously. Uh, we haven't even uh, we haven't even launched here. So uh, the fact that this is the launch event, uh, a pitch hasn't even been thrown, and uh, there's so much excitement, um, it's just a great sign. Uh, I want to thank everybody who participated uh, in today's session. Uh, I do want to just you know shout out that um, Athletes Unlimited, of course, first and foremost, is about the athletes. But for the fans who are watching. Um, and, and who've found this to be interesting. Um, you're obviously gonna be able to tune in, watch the games, follow us on social, and then we have this unlimited club that I think is gonna be really exciting. We talked in one of the breakout sessions that I was leading um, that about all the unique experiences you're gonna be able to have, uh, the fact that we're putting in place dugout cameras, and you're gonna be able to interact with the players in the game. We're gonna have players mic'd up, and if you're a member of the unlimited club, you're gonna be able to vote on the game MVPs. So a member of the scoring system, it's got three components, um, how uh, a player's team does each inning in each game, how they do individually in their own individual stats. And then when the players from any given game come off the field, they're going to vote on who they think were the MVPs of the game. And, and if you're voted as an MVP, you're going to get you're going to get points uh, added to your score. The fans who are part of the Unlimited Club are also going to vote and their votes are going to count towards the tally and the final tally. Um, so so I think there are going to be a lot of ways to engage as fans. Um, I think, you again, in our breakout session, if you didn't get to see it, um, the, the our, our producing partners at Ross Mold Productions took people through um, all the interactive technologies. There are going to be spray charts. You're going to be able to see how high shortstops are jumping and catch balls. You're going to be see, able, able to see how fast base runners are running. I think that the production is going to be really uh, outstanding. Uh, and most importantly, I hope you got the excitement from the athletes. I know many of you heard from, from a whole variety of our athletes, but if my session, you, if you didn't hear from Kelly or in the other session, you obviously got to hear from a number of players and you got to hear from Cat at the top. Um, but this is an athlete-led league. Um, I want you to know that they're uh, directly driving decisions. The, the players themselves really identified who, who should play in this league, and, and it's a self-selected group. Um, and we're just so fortunate that we're working alongside them. Uh, they're ultimately going to share not only in the short-term uh, financials of, of the league, but in the long-term financials. They have a stake in this league for 19 years into the future. Um, so uh, thank you for taking the time today. Uh, this is just the beginning. Um, stay tuned. Um, certainly follow us uh, on social at AU Pro Sports and at our website. Um, and we want to hear from you. I guess that's the biggest message I can leave you with, which is we want to hear from you. Please interact with us. Ask your questions. Uh, I'm really, I feel certain in saying that, you know, if you have something on your mind or you want to share it with one of the players or with us at, at Athletes Unlimited, um, we're going to get back to you. So, um, we want that dialogue. Um, and thanks again. Again, a, a last thanks to, to everyone here in Rosemont and, and to Mayor Stevens and his entire team um, and uh, all the board of advisors, uh, from Jess Mendoza and, and everybody else who's helped uh, really build this league um, from, from day one. Uh, it's been a journey. It's, it's excited to be here. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys over the next six weeks. Thanks again.